Yo, Wagwan, welcome back to the video. Welcome back to our next video in the day and life of this mess right here. So, what do I have planned today? Well, I'm going to do a DIY. I'm changing my thermostat on this car. And I'm also going to change the oil on this car. And I'm also going to change the oil on my truck. And I'm thinking about doing a review video on a BMW 335i. But let's see how this day progress. I, I don't have it planned out like that, but you go, you're gonna be a, along for the ride. You're gonna be along for the ride. Right now I'm currently in my car, getting it warmed up so I can hit the road. So as soon as it's warmed up, it's like at one, 145 degrees right now. So once it reaches like 170, I'll move off, head to my truck, grab some tools, and just head to the spot. I'm not gonna really do the, the POV of heading to the spot. I'm just gonna get right into doing the work. So, let's go. So here we have it. We're here, I've got the car, I've got this, I'm gonna change the oil on that. So we're gonna do, we're gonna change that thermostat right there. I'm gonna change these two hoses right there and then come around to the dam. I can't see it. That's gonna get, that's gonna be hard to get to, but I'm gonna change those as well. And um, yeah, let me show you the thermostat that I got. Oh, and this is the truck. So the new thermostat I have is the new hybrid racing thermostat. All right, so let's get into it. So this is a new hybrid racing um, thermostat. It's not much to it, but it, I think it's gonna look good on the car. It's swivel so you can, you know, really place it anywhere and anyhow you want. And it comes with the OEM thermostat that you can replace if needs be. And you can actually put a port right here for your turbo setup if you want. Or you can just block it off with the bung that they supplied you with. It also came with hardware. And you can swap this out for an AN fitting or you can leave it with your standard hose fitting if you want. So I think it's pretty nice, I actually like it. And um, yeah, that's what I got. So let's get this thing installed any minute and get the show on the road. Let's do it. The next thing I have on the chopping block is these recirculation, I mean the oil cooler hoses. I'm pretty sure I got the wrong part, but <laughs> we're gonna find out. I got this off my other engine. Um, I'm just gonna swap it out for the, this is the, I think it's a recirculation hose. So that's, you know, it's pretty, it's in better shape than the one that I have. The one that I have has a huge slit right there. So I'm gonna swap it out. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so the oil change on that car is finished. The oil change on my car is going on currently right now. I'm currently draining the oil. This car, I'm not doing anything to it, but that's the car we're gonna be reviewing today. The truck oil is already finished, so I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty much working fast. Um, I just wanna show you the oil that I'm be, I'll be running. It's the VR1 2050. Now, bear in mind, I run this oil in the summertime or in the hot, in the hot kind of weather. Um, so I will be doing the next oil change in probably november or december time and we go to the vr1 um 10w40 i think it is which is a thinner weight for the colder season um i only run this oil in the summer just so you know and i am running a canon oil filter and this oil filter is actually made for uh s2000 if you don't already know the s2000 has the same threading and the oil filter fits is just a bigger size capacity oil filter and um, I just prefer running a bigger size oil cap oil capacity 
So yeah, that's that's why I'm running. If you're curious, the part number for this is the KNN HP-1004. A bigger oil filter gives you higher oil pressure in your vehicle. So just so you know, a little a little gem for you right there. So let me get this finished finished up with the oil change and then I'll be installing the thermostat and getting rid of the hoses. O'Neill over there will be holding the camera while I'm doing the the swapping out of the thermostat, the hoses and all of the above. So let's get into it. All right. I'm going to bleed out the coolant that's in the car right now and get ready to swap my thermostat. I'm going to hand the camera over to O'Neill and he's going to be my camera guy from now on. So this is my bucket. This is what I'm going to be putting the coolant in. And if you come here, my drain plug is right here. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm going to show you from underneath, which is this. This right here. So I'm going to open that, get my bucket underneath, let it start. And once, once it's started, I'm going to pull my, my coolant, my radiator cap to get the airflow to get it out quicker and then i'm going to get ready to remove all the hoses once the coolant is run out so let's get into it you can see i just removed this and the coolant is now flowing once i remove this radiator cap it's going to now shoot out let's see Oh, there you go. Oh. So what I'm doing right now, I'm basically putting pressure because if I let it go all the way, it's gonna shoot out all the way to the back and make a big mess. And I'm not with all of that. So let's just hold it a constant flow and get this coolant drained out. All right, be back in a sec. All right, so got the coolant mostly out of the radiator. I'm gonna use this, it's the number eight. I'm going to take off the, the bottom hose for the thermostat, right? So let's do that now. I might get some coolant out as well here. I'm not too sure, but I have my bucket down there anyways, so I'm ready for it, even if it ever it's to leak out. So let's try it. in a corner right there so if you can see now look here it, my thermostat is completely free right now so I'm gonna take my allen keys and take off the housing got to find the exact size it looks like a number five maybe maybe not let's try it it is a number five so number five allen key and take it off counterclockwise Took out the three bolts and my thermostat is out. See? And the three bolts are put right here. All right. Off. This is the main reason why I was changing this, this hose anyways. If you can see there. Focus. Yeah. Main reason. Now I have a next OEM hose. I got it off of my my engine. Uh, the next engine I had. Same thing. So I'm just gonna swap it. I think I'm gonna use these clamps. I think it would work out better instead of the hose clamps. So let's try it. All right. So that hose is off now. I'm going to install the the thermostat so let's get into it the new thermostat looks it's right here i'm good on i'm good on it let's 
So the, this is the new hybrid racing thermostat. Uh, it looks pretty good, really good. So it's installed. And this hose back here, I just installed that new hose. And then now I'm going to try and install these oil cooling hose around here. So yeah, let's get to it. So it turns out we're not going to do that oil cooler hose. It is not leaking. I just feel like changing it because it's probably long overdue to change. But it's a real hard headache to get to those holes right now. So I'm not going to stress myself out with that. And for the recirculation hose, the hoses over this side, these two hoses, um, I bought the wrong size hose. So I'm not going to worry about it. Again, it is not leaking, so I'm not too worried about it. I just wanted to change a bunch of hoses. So it's preventative maintenance but it's not leaking so i'm not too worried about it so what i'm going to do now is put in my oil filter and put in the oil and begin my bleeding process of the engine all right okay oil is in oil filter is on oil filter is on and uh, everything is tightened up and copacetic i haven't put any coolant in yet because I'm going to change my spark plugs first. So these are Iridium BKR9. Is it nine? Yeah. Why? For some reason I thought I was running eight. So yeah, BKR Iridium spark plugs eight. I mean nine. <laughs> Why do you keep on saying eight? Uh, am I sure these are brand new? I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, brand spanking new. Oh, BKR8. BKR8. I guess I'm I'm just putting it in the 9 box, but these are actually BKR8, number 9, number 8. So, yeah, I'm going to swap them out right now. I've been meaning to swap these out for the past month. Um, but I have the chance now, so I'm going to swap them out right about now. I'm going to put the phone on a tripod. Why not put it on a tripod and do what I'm doing? So these are currently what I had in. And oh my gosh, look at it. Normally checks for leaks for like where the oil filter is. Let me just slide on back the tire real quick. So we're 
we're now bleeding the coolant. You know how that is. That's gonna take some time. Plus, I gotta do some heat cycles. Bleeding process is going good. We have no leaks whatsoever. Let's check in the car. Temperature is at 195. I have heat. I'm still the bottom radiator hose, which is that one. It's still cold, so I have to wait until that gets hot. This is hot, so you know that's all right. The radiator is semi-hot, so yeah, let's 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 just work with it. So when I say bleeding, these K series are fucking a nightmare. It's a nightmare bleeding these K series. Don't change your thermostat unless you really have to. <laughs> because I'm spending most of my time bleeding this car. Right, so the car is bled. It looks like this thermostat likes to be around 190 degrees. So that's where it's at right now with the car not being moved. So it would imitate like the car being in traffic and uh, not moving. It stays around 190 and not climbing after that with the radiator fan on. So that's a plus. I really like it to be lower, but 190 is fine. We're gonna jump in his car now, do a review of his car, and um, wrap this video up. Man, I'm exhausted, but let's get to it. Oh my God. 